Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. Well, with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Just a quick reminder for all my viewers and that is guys, if you guys have not joined the Telegram group chat guys, what are you waiting for? It's free to join. A link in the description box below we talk about cryptocurrencies the latest news and trends revolving around this space and just have a great time at the end of the day so come join the group and let's build this community together now let's jump right in today's content all right guys before i begin i would like to say the disclaimer anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because i am not a financial advisor cryptocurrencies are super volatile so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets so I am bringing you guys a very urgent late night update for Bitcoin and altcoins. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. If we are looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we are currently sitting at $1.53 trillion. We are down 5.9% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 43.1%. So guys, let's keep a very, very close uh, you know, eye on this number. 43.1%, we're seeing a BTC dominance spike up very, very fast. And there's a lot of questions. What exactly is going on? Why are we seeing so much, um, you know, upwards trend in BTC's dominance, you know, out of nowhere? So we will go over that in this video. If you guys did not watch my Cardano video today, I did mention as to what is going on and how we could see more downwards and movement for altcoins and so far everything is coming as I said earlier. And one thing I also want to point out for you guys is that uh, today is the start of the weekend and manipulation does tend to occur the most during the weekends because CME futures are closed. So that uh, makes uh, sense why we are seeing a Bitcoin uh, tumble down towards the downside once again. But before uh, this, uh, before even Bitcoin uh, dropping towards the downside, we were seeing altcoins already getting out of um, you know steam. They were headed towards the downside. You know, we were seeing Bitcoin hold around that $37,000 mark. We are supposed to be expecting altcoins to outpace Bitcoin. But this was not the case because we were seeing a lot of, uh, you know, I'm sorry, we were seeing a lot of, um, you know, spike in Bitcoin uh, dominance and, you know, the money was not leaving the cryptocurrency space. So now you may be wondering, where was this money leaving off to? This money was staying in the markets, guys, uh, but, uh, you know, it was going back into Bitcoin. That's what's causing Bitcoin dominance to go up towards the, down, uh, you know, upside. So uh, that makes sense as to what we're seeing. There. So now you may be asking, why exactly is this happening? Uh, so a lot of people have their own uh, theories as to what's going on. But the one that makes the most sense right now is that the BTC shorts on Bitfinex are you know, skyrocketing. As you guys can see, we are seeing some crazy amount of, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, levels of uh, shorts on Bitfinex out of like control. So a lot of people, especially now, this brings me to my next point. There's a lot of people saying, oh, we are seeing so much spike in the shorts on Bitfinex. There could be a dump coming in the markets. Maybe some of these big whales decided to manipulate the markets once again. And I always tell you guys, this is cryptocurrency. You know, manipulation occurs a lot in these markets and we have to be, you know, used to it and we have no control over that. So we are seeing a lot of spike in the shorts right now. So a lot of people are saying that these whales are planning some sort of dump to occur. They're all going to short at the same time, causing the Bitcoin price and longs to get liquidated. Uh, and, you know, that is creating a lot of panic. But, you know, one thing I want to clear out is that a lot of people are saying everyone knows about this. No, guys, we are seeing literally so much new money flowing into the markets. Only sophisticated investors right now know about what's exactly going on. And majority of the public does not know. And, um, you know, these big whales that hold so much in altcoins, they are the ones that are moving their coins back into Bitcoin because, 
they want to see if this dump is going to occur or not because if this were to occur guys uh, if we were to see uh, yeah, this actually come out to play longs getting liquidated and um, you know uh, these high level of shorts um, you know a lot of people shorting Bitcoin at the same time if this were to come uh, you know come about then yes um, we could see Bitcoin price fall towards the downside but this is only happening on Bitfinex so it's clear whale manipulation occurring right and now um, so we will see what happens but this does not come as a surprise to me right now it is the weekend and I believe it could be some of these whale groups that are trying to manipulate the markets once again. If Bitcoin were to drop, yes, Bitcoin will be the one that it will be holding stronger compared to altcoins. So I am not surprised why we are seeing more money flow into Bitcoin rather than staying in altcoins. So that does make sense. And if we are going on Bitcoin charts right now, guys, obviously the start of the weekend, we are seeing Bitcoin tumble down towards the downside once again. Um, as you guys can see, this is a level of support where we do not want to break below and we have broken below this $36,100 mark. We were just above $38,000 today. And guess what? We are tumbling towards the downside and it is the start of the weekend. So I believe you know, this does make some sort of sense because like I said, manipulation does tend to occur around the weekends the most. But still, we will see what happens and if bears do have the power this time to take Bitcoin below this level. Uh, so far, Bears are running out of steam. That's why Bitcoin has been creating higher lows after higher lows. So that is somewhat a bullish indicator on its own. But we will see what happens in the next 24 hour to 48 hours for Bitcoin's price because we have broken below this level of support. And you know, right now we could definitely fall back down to this $33,300 you know, mark that I've been saying is the last life support for Bitcoin. If we break below it, and are unable to close above this, then yes, there's a definitely a possibility for us to go below 30K and $25,000 could be the target. Obviously, no one wants to see that, but we have to face the reality right now. And that could mean a big, big, big warning for altcoins in the immediate short term. Long term, guys, I still believe this bull run is not over when we do consider all the factors, but we will see what happens short and medium term. This could mean, you know, more downwards trend for altcoins if we do see more spike in the BTC dominance. Now I'm bringing the BTC, uh, you know, dominance charts, guys. Uh, just on June 9th, uh, June 8th, we were at 41.58% and right now we're sitting at 44.92% in BTC dominance. So it is skyrocketing very, very fast. Uh, so as BTC dominance grows, guys, that means... Um, more money is going into Bitcoin and altcoins could see some sort of bloodbath across the board and trade sideways for a while. But guys, this is the market cycle and we can't really do much about it. This is why it's so, so, so important to take profits. This is why I always tell you guys, lock in some profits and, um, you know, never throw your life savings into crypto. Never, never, never. Always, uh, you know, do your due diligence and research uh, when investing in these markets. And always invest where you can afford to lose. And if you have done those two things, guys, the patience will be your number one key to follow. Uh, but right now, all eyes are still on Bitcoin, guys, right now. Uh, obviously, like I mentioned, it's the weekend. We are going to see manipulation occur. But I do take this manipulation, especially around the weekend, with a grain of salt. Uh, I do not take it seriously. So we will see. And one thing I want to also point out is that we are not seeing a lot of, you know, uh, volume kick in. So exactly, exactly what I'm trying to say royal manipulation occurring right now so we do not want to break below this level of support guys you guys know how crucial it is if we do we need to stay above thirty one thousand dollars we need to stay above it if we don't then this entire upwards trend will be invalidated oh i'm sorry i take that back we need to stay above thirty thousand dollars yeah so 29 yeah so thirty thousand dollars off we 
in order for us to continue to be in this uh, you know upward trend and this higher lows not, uh, to not be invalidated. If we do break below 30,000, this entire higher lows that we have been seeing for quite a few weeks will be invalidated and we will see some more downward trends. So right now, we are in some sort of bearish scenario for the short term, especially for altcoins. Uh, my altcoin holders, please keep this in mind. Uh, this is how the markets work. We are seeing a lot of interest coming in uh, on Bitcoin right now because, as I mentioned, BTC short. A lot of people are expecting some sort of Bitcoin uh, drop to occur, but I believe it's whale manipulation. Uh, but, you know, we can't really do much. We only have to wait and see what exactly happens. So all eyes should still be on Bitcoin, guys, and I believe uh, we will see what happens in the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys uh, think will happen in the next 24 to 48 hours and where you guys could see altcoins going in the end of this month. Do you guys think this is just for a time being or this could last for quite a few weeks? Let me know in the comment section below and uh, you know leave your thoughts down below. Um, so yeah, like I said, leave your thoughts down below and please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. This does help my video get to a, you know, a wider audience and also help me grow and help my channel grow. So that would be greatly appreciated. And thank you to all my regular viewers, guys, all my regular viewers that show me so much support on a continuous basis. I do this all for you guys and your support keeps me pushing and I will continue delivering the latest and the greatest content right for you guys. Realistic, transparent and no you know, overhyped stuff saying, you know, we are going straight to the moon. Oh, you guys know that. I'll never say that. We always look at both the scenarios and come with a conclusion. As of now, we are in the bearish scenario for altcoins specifically, but Bitcoin uh, is uh, still, you know, holding pretty strong in my opinion. We still need to go above that $36,100 mark that I have mentioned. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's uh, whale manipulation, um, but we will see what happens because it is a weekend. I do not take these kind of moves very, very seriously. But um, like I said, do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. This does help my channel a lot. So your support would be greatly appreciated and uh, stay safe out there. Safety comes first, health comes first, family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later. And with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. It's been Crypto ZX and peace out.